Hello guys, welcome back and we are learning Android PHP MySQL and in the last video we have created this shared prep manager class and this class is storing the user data in shared preferences so whenever we will request this URL and we will pass the username and password and if it is authenticated by the correct username and password we will get the user data and this data is in JSON format and we will store this data in our Android application using shared preferences. So in the last video we have created the mechanism to store the data and in this video we will code this login activity and we will store the data in our application. So let's see how we can do this. We already have this web service which is authenticating our user and so inside constant class define your user login URL and it is user login.php and prefixes with root URL so define this static final string in your constants class and now come inside login activity so inside login activity we have username and password so define these views edit text username edit text password button login and we also need a progress dialog now first initialize these views so we will initialize it so we have our view objects now we need a method that will call when user want to log in into the app so we will define private void user login now to log into the app the user must provide the username and password and we will get the username and password from these edit texts so we will define final string username limit as well and same for password now we will send a post request to our web services as we are using post request so for this we will again use a string request and first it will take what method we are going to use so we are going to use post and then we will use we will define the request URL so we have URL login and then listener this is the success listener response listener and one error listener that's it now we will add this request to our request queue so for it we will get the instance of request handler class and we'll pass our string request that's it now to this string request we will pass the username and password so for this we will override the method get params so right click generate and select override methods and here you need to find the get params method so this is the get params method now again define a hash map here and we have key value pairs now put username and password username and then return the parameter params return params now that's it now in response we will get the json object so in response first convert this response string to json object so right here define a json object and you need to surround it with try catch Now if 
obj dot cat boolean and error is not true that means user is successfully authenticated and if error is true that means there is some invalid information given by the user to log in into the app and also we will display the progress dialog here and we will dismiss the progress dialog here now now here we will store the user data to shared preferences and we have already created that class shared preference manager dot get instance and we will call the method user login and here we will pass id username email username is also string so it is string and that's it and in else part we will display a toast and we can display the message that are coming from the server the message and length and finally display it and same inside the inside this if and here we will display a message user login successful so that's it now we just need to call this method when the button is clicked so first attach an on click listener to the button and for this you need to implement on click listener in interface implement the methods as well now here if the if button login then we will call the method user login now that's it and it should work let's test it first and dismiss the progress dialog in on error as well so progress dialog dot dismiss and you can display the error here and for the error we can use this volley error object so we will write error dot get message that's it now let's test it so this is our app this time we will login so click on login pass username and password let's try giving wrong password so we are getting invalid username or password and if we put the correct password and username then we are getting user login successful so that's it for this video friends and obviously the login is not completed yet as in successful login we will navigate this screen to profile screen user profile screen so we will done we will do this in the next video and for all those who are getting problem in their database please do check your database table structure and id should be auto increment so if you have not done you have not make you haven't made your id column as auto increment you will face some issues so cross check your database and check it is auto increment or not and uh, also hit subscribe to my channel and like this video and share this video as well and i will post more and more tutorials tutorials soon as my semester exams are going on so i'm not able to make videos more frequently so this is it for today and in the next video we will move ahead in this application so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video